Okay, hi, it's me again. This is my, gosh, this is my like 16th post on autoimmune diseases. You know, they're epidemic. That's why I'm spending so much time on this. There's like a one in four chance that anybody listening to me out there can get an autoimmune disease. One in four. This is an epidemic. You're not hearing anything about it because modern medicine has absolutely nothing to do about it. They insist it's incurable. They consist that the only thing you can do is take dangerous drugs to hide the symptoms. But in fact, it can be cured, it can be prevented, and it's not easy, but it can be cured and can be prevented. And that's why I'm going through all of this, is to get the word out, number one, that that can be done, and number two, to give you some ideas on how that can be done. So if you missed any of my previous posts, they all tag together. You won't get a lot out of just one post. So go back and review all the previous posts, and you'll know more about autoimmune diseases than any of the doctors out there who specialize in autoimmune disease. I promise you this. Okay, we're gonna talk about genetics today. Genetics definitely play a role in who's more likely to get an autoimmune disease. So if you have a parent or a sibling with an autoimmune disease, you're 29% more likely to end up with an autoimmune disease than somebody without uh, those genetics. On the other hand, if you do have a family history, there's still a 71% chance that you will not get one. That's if you play your cards right. So pay attention to these things, because if you play your card, you're more likely to get it, but you can do something about that. So in that case, if you have that family history, it's even more important for you than for the general population to pay attention to all the various factors that I'm discussing in these posts that bring on autoimmune disease. Conversely, if you don't have a family history, there's still a one in four chance you're gonna get autoimmune disease. So even if you don't have that family history, you're not in scot-free yet. Basically, no matter what your genetics are, we all need to make sure that we limit the chances of joining the 17 plus percent of American population diagnosed with one of the many autoimmune diseases. So think about that. If you've got a family history, you're even more likely to get it, but there's no guarantee if you don't have a family history that you won't get an autoimmune disease. All of us, me included, all of us are close to a 20, 25% risk of getting these diseases as we get older and they can be prevented. 